Hello people, James here. Welcome back, or welcome for the first time, or, well, that's it. Those are the only options. You are hearing my words right now, but are you listening? There is a difference, you know, a big one. A lot of people have trouble listening. I mean truly listening. Sit back, take the Q-tips and cotton balls out, open up those ears, and pay attention, because in this video, I'm going to teach you how to be a better listener. Sam, roll the intro. Sam. Sam, take off the... Can you hear me? Really? You're listening to music on company time? Get... Give me those. Gee, roll the damn intro. Right now, I'm sure that there's one or two people who are saying, hey, why do I have to be a good listener? You know, I've gotten by this far in my life just the way I am. I'm more of a talker anyway. I let other people do the listening. All right, all right, I hear you. You've gotten this far. But look, when you improve your listening skills, you improve the way you connect with and interact with everyone else in your life be it at work, be it at home, be it with total strangers. Listening helps you connect with and understand those people, which will then improve the types of results that you get with those people. It'll improve everything else in your life. That is how powerful listening is. It is the backbone of communication. Hearing is a physical ability. Sound waves vibrate through the air, they go into your ear, they vibrate a little bone in the inside of your ear, and the brain interprets those signals using magic and physics, and boom, you've heard something. Listening, by contrast, is a skill. It requires focus and concentrated effort. Listening is understanding the meaning behind the words. Listening is comprehending the message that is being given to you. The fact that listening is a skill is really good news, because if you suck at it, you can just practice it. Skills can always be improved, and so this is a skill that you can be working on for the rest of your life. You can constantly be improving your listening skills, which means you will constantly be improving the way you understand the people around you. The biggest, the most important, the most critical part about listening is this. Listening is about the other person, period. If during your conversation, you're just thinking about what you're gonna say next or what to do to sound impressive or interesting or how it relates to your own personal experience, then you're not fully listening. And I really, really listen to you instead of just, instead of just waiting for their turn to speak. Get out of your head and get into theirs. Pay attention to their words, their gestures, their tone, voice inflection, their emotions. All of these different things are cues and clues for you to pick up on, to get inside of their head, to see how they're feeling, to understand what it is that they want you to understand, what message that they're giving you. If you are a human being, then I am going to say with 100% certainty, you have experienced the wandering mind. You know, when you're trying to do a task, but you're daydreaming about some other bullshit far, far away. This happens when you're reading a book, when you're driving a car, brushing your teeth, taking a shower. You're not present. You're not focused on what it is that you're doing. You're just kind of going through the motions. Well, this happens a lot with people who are trying to listen. They're standing there, they're smiling and nodding, but they're not paying attention at all. Their mind is light years away. This does not make for good communication. This certainly doesn't help you understand the person who's in front of you. So, when your mind starts to wander, catch it. This will inevitably happen on its own. You will eventually realize, oh shit, I wasn't paying attention at all. Let me come back. So as soon as that happens, get really excited. Don't get mad at yourself. Don't beat yourself up for not paying attention, but get super psyched that you are now back present and focused again. This is a gift. You're like, yes, I'm connected again. 
and then as the mind starts to wander and then you catch it and whoop you're right back again and then you get excited again. you're like yes this is a gift i get to connect again with this person as you continue to bring yourself back to the present and as you continue to reward yourself for bringing yourself back to the present you'll get better and better and better at it. It will be a reflex. It'll be this beautiful thing and you're constantly being brought back to the present moment. Now, if you want to help yourself not wander so much, then one thing you can do is change something physical. So for example, stop slouching, you know, sit up straight if you are sitting. If your arms are folded, undo them. If your arms are in front of you, maybe put them behind your back or maybe put them in your pocket change something take a deep breath basically when you're communicating with somebody you want to stand or sit at attention if your idol were to walk into the door right now or if the some crush some secret love of your life were to walk into the room right now how would you hold yourself how would you present yourself how would you be sitting or standing where would your gaze fall what would your facial expression be? Wouldn't you really be fixated on this person, their every move and what they're doing? You'd be captivated. That is what a good listener does. That is what you should be doing for the person who is in front of you. It's not unlike watching a very good captivating movie. You know, when you really get into a movie, you're not wasting your time analyzing every little word or why they said something a certain way or or picking your brain about how you would do it differently or how you can't wait till it's your turn to tell the main character how they should have done it yada yada no you just sit back and you take in the story as it comes to you you're just fully engaged and you're fully accepting of what it is that you're receiving it's the same thing that you need to do for the person who's talking to you. When you are a good listener, you just sit there and you just take it all in. You don't overanalyze it. You don't think about when it's gonna be your turn. You just sit there like a good audience member and enjoy the show. Now, I'll admit, some people are not as interesting to listen to as watching a $150 million blockbuster movie. I get that. Uh, so, in those moments, that's when you can really get to practice your skill, okay? It's easy to listen to somebody who's captivating and super interesting, but with boring people, it's gonna take a bit more effort. This is great. This is the perfect time to practice. So here's a few things you can do to hone that skill. Number one, eye contact, eye contact. Look the person in the eyes. Now I get that some cultures, that's actually not the way to go about it. So, you know, it is important to know your audience. But in Western society, looking the person in the eyes is respectful. It shows that you're being polite and paying attention. It shows that you are engaged. So keep your eyes on the prize. And the prize is their eyes. Yeah. Distractions. Oh my God, people, damn it. Just please put the phone down. For one second, can you just put it down? You don't always need it. You damn sure don't need it when you're trying to listen to somebody else. And no, you cannot text and listen at the same time. I know you think you can, you can't. Just do them the favor and the honor and give them the respect of your full and undivided attention. Get off the computer, put the book down, stop trying to slice tomatoes, whatever you're doing, and just listen to the person. Summarize what they said. When they are done speaking, repeat back to them what it is you think that they told you. You know, did you understand the message properly? Did you hear them the way that they wanted to be heard? So just repeat back to them. If, you know, if, if I'm hearing you correct, what you're saying is, if I'm understanding you, then this is how you feel, right? And then see what they say. And then my favorite one, ask questions ask questions when they are done speaking when when they fall silent that is your opportunity to ask an engaging question as it relates to what they've just told you ask them something to bring more clarity for yourself or understanding oh you know you said this and i didn't really understand how that would work why don't you tell me more about that or how do i how do I get better at such and such? You were telling me this. Ask them to elaborate. Ask them to explain their experiences in more detail. 
The more questions you ask, the deeper your understanding will become. And also the more flattering it is for that person. They really feel heard. They really feel like you are interested and invested in what it is that they're sharing with you. And again, that's what this whole thing is about. Listening is about the other person. So make it about them. Ask questions that put the spotlight back on them. They get them talking again so you can listen more. As with learning and developing any skill, consistency is the key. If you want to see a video about consistency, catch that here. So don't get discouraged and don't be so hard on yourself if your mind does start to wander, if you notice that you're not listening as intently or as thoroughly as you could. Just take that time to figure out what didn't go so well and how to get better at it and just keep practicing. That is the biggest part. And again, remember, make it about the other person. Get out of your head and get into theirs. Eventually, you will reach a place in your listening where you don't need to respond. You won't have to say something profound or interesting or funny or witty. Simply listening fully will be enough. Giving that gift, and it is a gift to listen fully, giving that gift to the other person will be all the satisfaction you need. And you know what? That person who spoke the whole time will walk away from that conversation feeling so privileged, feeling so honored and welcomed and comforted by you. And you didn't say a damn word. You just gave them the gift of full attention and full understanding. That is really, really powerful. Now, I'm not saying that you have to remain silent. Of course, conversation is a two-way street. There will be moments when you get to speak, but this urge for you to have to gab will lessen. And you will just become fully content as a listener. Remember, it's about the other person. People just want to feel heard and understood. So if you can do that for somebody, if you can listen to them, then that is a gift. You are helping them. And as you improve your skills as a listener, you'll be able to help more and more people and you'll be helping yourself as well. It's just a beautiful reciprocal cycle. Becoming a better listener helps everyone. Talk to me in the comments below. Who do you want to start listening to differently, more attentively? What can you start to do today to improve those listening skills? Wow, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for hanging around all the way to the end. Please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and feel free to subscribe if you're into that. That would help me a lot. And as always, love, bliss, and consciousness.